tune in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason. And I'm Tanya Thomason. We're so glad that you tuned in here with us on today to, to break bread with us. Yes. Amen. The, Amen. The word of the Lord. Listen, the word of the Lord is living. Yes. It, 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 and it is essential to your life. Amen. 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 Our prayer today is that, that God would empower you and encourage you to Go out and do what he's placed in your heart to do. We want you to know that God has placed something uniquely different on the inside of you. Yes. And what you carry is valuable for the kingdom, and that's why the enemy fights you so much. But because of Jesus, you have the advantage. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you know how we do here on Kingdom Empowerment? We like to, before we get into the word, we like to open up with a word of prayer. Right. Amen. Could you um, open us up with prayer? Absolutely. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this time of sharing, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you will bring revelation and illumination to your word, Lord God. Bless your people, Father God. Cause increase to manifest both naturally and spiritually, Father God. We thank you, Father God, even as we sit in your presence, oh God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts would be acceptable in your sight, oh God, for you are our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Um, open your Bibles with us to Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. I'm going to uh, begin reading um, at verse 35. Listen to this. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Verse 36. Mm -hmm. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat mm -hmm. as he was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat against the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, mm. or in the belly of the ship. Yes. Okay. Asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Mm -hmm. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace. Be still. Mm. And the wind ceased, mm -hmm. and there was a great calm. My God. But he said to them, why are you so fearful? Mm. How is it that you have no faith? faith. <laughs> and they feared exceedingly and said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey, obey him? him. Ooh. You know, um, when when I when I begin to um, look at this on, on on today, one thing that 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 I noticed that when when the great windstorm arose, Jesus was resting mm -hmm. in the belly of the ship mm -hmm. or in the stern, mm -hmm. <laughs> sleeping mm -hmm. on a pillow. On a pillow. Mm -hmm. He had already given a word in verse 35, mm -hmm. let us cross over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And which also something else that I noticed, it wasn't just Jesus and the disciples on a boat, mm -hmm. but it was other little boats that followed behind them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 37, a great windstorm arose and the, we and the waves beat against the boat mm -hmm. so that it was already filling. So so water was filling in the inside of the boat. Mm -hmm. Jesus was in the belly of the boat, mm -hmm. sleeping. Mm -hmm. But water was filling mm -hmm. in the belly. And, and, and for all the commotion that was going on, mm. Jesus was not bothered. Mm -mm. He was not bothered. Because he said, 
let us cross over, which means that's where your focus should be. Right, of mm -hmm. crossing over, mm -hmm. which means that there's absolutely nothing that is going to stop us from crossing over because the word has been released. Absolutely. <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. And then the Bible says, then he arose and rebuked the wind mm -hmm. and said to the sea, peace be still. Mm -hmm. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Ooh. But he said to them, why are you so fearful? Mm -hmm. How is it that you have no faith? Wow. Now, you would think, like, wait a minute. I mean, I, I, I understand their, their, um, how they were feeling you about being fearful. Mm -hmm. And I understand Jesus' stance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I understand Jesus' stance is because they just saw him feed the multitudes. Right. They just saw the miracles and the signs and the wonders. Yes. Right. And on top of that, they were experienced fishermen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But it really shows you how fear can cause you to throw out all your training. Mm. <laughs> and they went into straight panic. And, and now Jesus, he got up and he rebuked the winds and, 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 the, way, and the waves and, and, you know, peace be still. Mm -hmm. And then he said, why is it that you are fearful? Mm -hmm. And then second, how is it that you have no faith? You, you mean to tell me that you've been with me all this time? And you don't have any faith. You wait a minute. You've been with all this, and you don't know what to do. But, but even deeper than that, fear caused them to get their eyes off a guaranteed word. Mm, that's right. That word came with a guarantee. Jesus was in the belly of the ship, in the belly of the boat, asleep. He gave them the word before he went and rested. Word with a guarantee. He wasn't bothered with everything that was going on right. because he understood that that word came with a guarantee. And the spirit of fear caused them to get their eyes off the promise or the word with the guarantee. Come on. Woo. Come on. <laughs> that part right there, mm. that part right there, that spirit of fear will rob you of every promise. Yes, it will. It will cause you to get your eyes off the word that has a guarantee. Mm. Woo! That's good. <laughs> which, 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 with that, mm -hmm. Tucker, see, because I believe Jesus' expectation mm -hmm. and the reason why he rested was, was that when the storm came, because he wasn't oblivious to the storm coming. Mm -hmm. The storm was an opportunity for them to practice what they've learned. What they've learned. Right? Mm. So, so when the storm came, mm -hmm. he wanted to see them say, uh-uh, peace, be still. That's what his expectation was. That's why he responded, why are you fearful? I mean, How is it that you ain't, you ain't got no faith? Wait, but you, you, you've been walking with me all this time. I've given you a word with a guarantee. Jesus didn't ask them, why, you, why, why, why haven't you put it in practice, everything that I've taught you? He asked them, why are you so afraid? Why are you operating and manifesting fear? speaking to us. Why will we gravitate towards the spirit of fear Well, when Jesus ascended, he left the comforter? <laughs> Come on. The spirit of the Lord dwells on the inside of us. We are the temple yes. of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, as Jesus did, is resting. Come on. In the temple of man, and we've allowed the spirit of fear to cause us to focus on everything that is going on, mm. instead of grabbing a hold to the word that God has given us, and rested. that came with a promise, and rested. Oh, my God, 
Mm. Boy, that piece of revelation right there, I can chew on that. Oh, <laughs> I can chew on that all day. So, That's good. <laughs> so in essence, Ooh. they should have been laying down resting. Man, in him. In him. Being still. And getting to the other side. Being still. <laughs> Being still. Come on. It came with a promise. Yes. It was a word with a guarantee. He's resting. Come on. Come on. He's resting with us. So if he's resting, we ought to rest in him. In him. Be still. Now, now last week we talked about still and still mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Getting still. Mm -hmm. Getting still with him. Getting still in his presence. Mm. Now, it's amazing. But, but it's, it's like this. They were, even though he was with them and gave them the guarantee, mm. they allowed the spirit of fear to cause them not just to forget about the guarantee, but forget that they were experienced fishermen. They trained and went out the window. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, where, where they, didn't, they didn't know how to respond. But somebody had enough sense and said, teacher, mm. Do you not care every parent? So they went to go wake him up. Mm -hmm. But in essence, what God is saying, he said, listen, I don't care what's going on around you. Remember my guarantee. But just in case you forget, go back and wake it up. Wait. He said, peace, comma, be still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be at peace and get still. Yeah. In the midst of chaos, be at peace. Grab a hold of peace and get still. He asked them in verse 40, he said, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Holy Spirit dwells on the inside of us. The gift of faith is active on the inside yes, of us. Yes, yes. Grab a hold to the gift of faith, peace, and get still. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I might be still meditating <laughs> <laughs> and chewing on that thing. Because, there, I mean, there's instructions just in 39 through 40. Mm-hmm. They're complete instructions when chaos is hidden. When that when that, that note come in that's written in red. Come on. <laughs> that's a notice or eviction. Come on, somebody. <laughs> or come on, we we gonna shut you off. Woo, wait. <laughs> then he said I already I wrote it in red first. Oh, come on. <laughs> These are the words of Jesus, because he said, peace be still. Mm. Don't be afraid. Why is, it have, why is it that you have not activated faith on the inside? Mm. Woo! In your time of stillness. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Pastor. I'm excited over here. Right. In their time of stillness, Jeez. why haven't they activate, activated their faith? Because if they would have activated their faith, they would have did what Jesus, come on. He had to get up and do what was already in them to do. Mm, mm, mm. Come on now, you just said something right there. You just said something right there. Because 41, they asked a question. He said, and it says, and they feared exceedingly, which means fear had overtaken them. And they had to say to themselves, they said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the, the wind and the sea obey him? Come on, nature. The spirit of familiarity. Come on. Kept them from recognizing or grabbing hold of the peace that dwelled, that lied, that rested in the vessel that they were on. Come on. We're in a time of the inner working of the Holy Ghost. Come on. We're Come in a on. time where God is, he, God is, is intensifying all of the gifts on the inside of man. But we can't tap into what God is doing with the gifts if we don't be still. 
if we're so succumb succumbed with everything that is going on in society, then we're missing what God is doing. We're missing the inner working of the Holy Spirit that our peace may be upon us. We can command our peace. Come on, we override the spirit of fear when we grab hold to the peace of God that dwells on the inside of us in our time of stillness that our faith may be increased huh? in a time where it seems like the winds and the waves are overtaking us in life, where it seems like the things, the cares of this life, we've allowed them to enlarge themselves bigger than our God. We can't allow what's going on in the world in this time to be larger than the spirit of God that don't just dwells in us, but dwells in the earth. God is in control. Yes. But in your time of stillness, if we have an inability to still ourselves, Everything that we do will be out of a spirit of fear. We will pay bills out of a spirit of fear. We will rob God because we're afraid instead of knowing that there is a promise, a guarantee that came with the word in the time of stillness. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Mm. Come on. I'm a good father. Mm. You know, what's, what, what I, what I uh, noticed is that when they got to the other side, that's when they dealt with the demoniac mm. legion. Woo. So they, the, is, I, I believe it's safe to say that the tempest that suddenly arose mm was a manifestation of where they were going. Where they were going. But he had already That's prepared good. them mm -hmm. for, the, listen, before before the enemy hit, before something hits you, God already, come on, what did, what did the word of the Lord declare? He said, before I do anything, I let my prophets know. I will reveal it unto my servant, the prophets. My servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Before it hits you. Yes. So uh, in other words, through, through, um, through time, mm -hmm. stealing away, mm -hmm. and when you steal away, what happens? Mm -hmm. Not only in that place do are you able to hear him, mm -hmm. but you're able to, to hear what he's saying, mm -hmm. but you're able to see what he's doing. Right, right, right. Because right. well, what, what did Jesus say? I only do what I see my Father do. And, and when you, and when you, and when you've seen, and when, and when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Because I'm only doing what he's doing. Oh my God! I'm, I'm, I learned. I've learned through observation on what to do. Mm. That's why I'm not afraid. Wow. That's why when I when when the when the come on when the promise of the guarantee the word see because God come on when when Jesus stood away st stood away and got still in God's presence and God gave him the instruction because every Jesus was a son. Mm -hmm. He's the son mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. and the word of the Lord declares that. Those that are sons are led by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. good, 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 good. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So as as God led him, mm -hmm. Jesus knew that he had to go to the other side and mm -hmm. deal with the demoniac. Mm -hmm. So he knew he was going to the other side because mm -hmm. his father had told him. So he was so because he rested Ooh. in the word that his father gave him, mm -hmm. the instructions that he got through praying and getting still. Oh my God. He was able to rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his expectation was, mm. y'all, we're going to the other side. Yes. Because I've been with my father, and he's given me the instructions for the day. My God, that takes me, um, that reminds me of uh, Joseph. Mm. When Joseph was jailed, Joseph didn't consume himself with the lie. Right. <laughs> with the lie that put him there, he consumed himself with getting still and obeying the instructions of the Lord, which positioned him for a place of power. Oh, my God. When God decided to bring him to the forefront. Come on. He learned what to do. He positioned himself for a place of power that he may be distributors 
come on, over all that the king had. He held on to the promise, come on, that got him in the pit in the first place, yes. which was the vision that he had. Yes. So after being put in the pit, sold, come on, put in a house where a lie caused him to be put in another pit. He didn't focus on any of those things. Mm -hmm. He held fast to the dream, to the promise. He positioned himself in a time of seclusion, in a time of being set apart, which perception would be he was in prison, he was in jail. Oh my God, he not free. No, he was being positioned. He was learning humility. Yes. He was learning how to be humble, how to truly be humble, how to hear the word, the instructions of the Lord that positioned him for the place of power and the promise that God showed him in a dream, in a place of stillness. Come on, that manifested and positioned him over wealth. Yeah, I mean, because it's just tying in with Joseph. Joseph had to get still mm -hmm. in order to hear what he had that vision mm -hmm. of, of leading over, mm -hmm. over Egypt, saving his people and another nation. But was that a wealth transfer? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But, but, it, but, but Ooh, this also, this also teaches us mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the story of Joseph mm -hmm. and even in the text where we're in in Mark. It mm -hmm. still teaches us that even though you have a guaranteed promise, yeah. don't mean that you're not going to have contrary winds. Absolutely, absolutely. But in, in, even in the midst of contrary winds, if you stay hold, if you lay hold and hold on and remember the guarantee that God has given you, Amen. you still will have the ability to have peace in the, even in the midst of it as you transition. Absolutely. Your faith will be tested. Yes. It will be tested, mm. but it will not overtake you. Yes, God. Because as long as you continue to stay in faith, my, my, my. And not in fear. See, because when you get in fear mm. and, and and you allow your faith to fuel your fear, mm. then you shut down your, come on, Jesus demonstrated dominion. Your perception changes when you operate in fear. Yeah. <laughs> How you see things. And you know that it's like they, they focus more on the, on the story, but somebody on the ball had enough sense. We need to wake up Jesus. Uh, master, teacher, Lord. We need you to get up because we, 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 don't you care? Mm -hmm. But what did they do? They went into a posture of seek. Somebody had to seek, seek him. him. Come on. <laughs> you can't get around that seek. Come on. You can't get around that seek and that stillness. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> because once, once, once that trouble came, Mm. And touched them. It caused mm. them to seek him. Yes. Mm. Isn't it amazing that even not just even here in this text, but all through the Old Testament, mm -hmm. when God wants his people to seek him, he mm. brings some type of calamity. Yes, he will. He causes a situation, he causes a storm, or mm -hmm. a wind, or yes. uh, come on. Uh, what, what did he tell us in, in Chronicles chapter 7, 14, mm -hmm. no, 13? Mm -hmm. We said, if I shut up the heavens, shut up the heavens and don't let it rain, and don't let it if I release a famine, if I send pestilence, mm -hmm. <laughs> if my people, if my people that are called by my name will what? Humble themselves. And then do what? Seek, Seek my, my face. face. Turn. Mm-hmm. Come on, those, those brothers, they turned, didn't they? They turned right to Jesus and began <laughs> to seek him, didn't they? They said, then, then will I hear. He woke up. He woke up. And then I will heal the land. I'm a forget, Peace. I'm a heal. Peace. Be, Be still. still. That means that everything around them in, that, in their environment had to become subject to the guaranteed promise. Come on. Come on. <laughs> to the word that came with the guarantee. Ooh. It had to fall subject.
to the word. And he was the, the word. word. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, so we just want to encourage oh, you that, that that word that God had given you. My, my, my. Wake it up. Because it will not, it will not return unto him void. But it will accomplish. Come on, come what on. it was sent out to what do. It was sent Did they, they? Come on, they still got to the other side, didn't they? They got to the other side. Well, now, now you may be saying, "Well, well, Pastor, how do I wake up that word? Seek him. Seek him. <laughs> he is the word. He is the word. So as you begin to seek the Lord, because praying and seeking, seeking God mm -hmm. is two different things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, 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 let's not get it confused. <laughs> He said, if you seek me, you mm -hmm. shall find, find me. It. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. When you seek me with your, your whole heart. heart. Come on. Jesus was in the belly of the ship. Yep. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Jesus is on the inside of you. That My word heart. is on the inside, inside of you. Of that you. word is not dead. That promise is not dead that God has, has, has released over your life. And Come God on. will still perform that good promise that he yes. promised you. Yes, yes. Now, maybe Before because of the situation that you were, maybe you forgot about the promise. Maybe you felt like it ain't going to happen. My Listen, Lord. we're here to encourage you to tell you that it's still going to happen still gonna no happen. matter what the enemy brings. Absolutely. You just got to get out of fear. Mm -hmm. Quit, quit. Stop connecting your faith to your fear my, my, my. and connect your faith to the word. word. Connect your faith to what God can do, yes. and then you'll be able to watch him work. work. Because when Jesus got up, my God. they was able, they stood there and they watched him. That's why they said, What kind of brother? Man, what kind of man is this? That even the winds and the waves obey. Come on. Now that now that encourages us mm -hmm. on another aspect that if you if you Keep the word. Mm -hmm. and you keep that word before you. Have mm -hmm. faith in that word. Mm -hmm. When the storm comes to try to distract you and stop your momentum, Amen. you'll be able to see him stand up and say, don't worry about it. I got this. Just watch me work. Mm. Hallelujah. Come on, stretch your hands towards us. Yes. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you right now yes, that even in the midst of this situation that the word Oh, today is, is awakening that promise, is, is stirring up that promise that they, that they may have allowed circumstance of uh, discouragement and fear to, to allow it to bury. But I think that it's becoming unearthed. Yes, it's, it's coming before them, and that word is speaking loudly, that guarantee is speaking loudly yes. and that they will be able to transition to that next place. They will be able to do what you called them to do or that thing that you said that you would do for them or you will, that they will, that you will give them. Lord, I thank you that that thank promise you, is not dead, but it is yet alive. Yes. And we thank you, Father thank God. You, Father God, we thank you in advance. Lord, if it was a miracle for the physical body, I thank you, Father God, that it is in manifestation now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for this. You, in Jesus name. Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Listen, we pray that you was blessed by the word of the yes. Lord on today. Listen, we want you to come and join us here at Kingdom of Power Ministries here at Port Huron. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove, Grove Avenue. Avenue. Our services are at 12 yes. noon. Yes. Now, we also are on... Facebook Live yes. as well, on Sundays as, as well, yes. and you can catch us there. Yes. Listen, we love you, and we are praying for you in the midst of this. Yes. Lay hold to the promise and watch God bring it to pass. Amen. We love you, and we see you next time for your kingdom, kingdom empowerment. empowerment. Blessings.